guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Grammys Day 2023. I am so excited. I'm really hoping that Taylor goes. It's looking like she will. She has four nominations. There's, there's a chance that our girl Taylor Swift is going to have 13 Grammys by the end of the evening. I would be so happy. You guys have no idea. That would just like be iconic, okay? Um, she's never won Song of the Year at the Grammys, and she's nominated for Song of the Year for All Too Well 10 Minute Version, and I just think that it needs to go to her. Um, but I am so excited. I just wanted to vlog with you guys. I'm actually gonna try and go make some tour money at Plato's Closet, and I'm probably gonna end up making exactly seven dollars, but you know what? It's okay. We're gonna go, um, I'm gonna go get a smoothie. I think I'm gonna go to my favorite coffee place, and maybe we'll get like a all too well or you know like a red taylor's version theme because i don't want to leave out you know i bet you think about me because that song is also nominated so maybe we'll get like a little red taylor's version inspired drink or something for fun um let's just also address the elephant in the room these are not my frames that i'm keeping i am so sorry we're gonna have to deal with them for about two weeks so the story is um i mentioned this in my grammy prediction video but I'll mention it again here just because I can't stand them. I really cannot. But they were nice enough to give me rental frames because my other frames that I always have, I had to send off to get a new prescription in the lens. And they actually, they used to be able to like just, you know, change the lenses out when, or, you know, when the, the new ones came in. But because they changed like carriers in the lab, they actually had to send out my frames with it. So... They were like, um, you can't see to drive home without your glasses, can you? I was like, no. And so they were like, okay, um, we're just going to give you some rental frames. We're going to see whatever we have that will fit your prescription lenses. And we'll just let you borrow them for two weeks, which is incredibly nice because I've told a couple people about that and they're like, I've never heard of an eye doctor doing that. And I'm like, I know they are literally the best. So I'm very grateful that I'm able to have them. Um, and I didn't, you know, have to go through all the chaos of that, but I am not the biggest fan of them. So we're just going to excuse them. They're really not all that bad. I just feel like they, they washed me out a little bit, but anyways, I just wanted to say that <laughs> just for like my own standpoint, like I'm going to watch this back, um, maybe in like 10 years and I'm going to like forget, <laughs> I'm going to forget. I'm, I'm like, Rachel, why'd you have those frames? And that was just my gentle reminder to myself, but also to you guys that I am sorry we have to deal with this for two weeks. But anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go get coffee first because that is a must. I have my all too well shirt on. I have my red ring on and then I have my little ring that I bought right off Cornelia Street in New York and then my 13 resin Rena ring and there's another ring I want to add. For Christmas my mom got me this ring from Mint and Lily and she was so excited about it. It's personalized. It's a Taylor and Rachel ring. It is stunning. It's so cute. I wear it on my index finger because that's where it fits me best. I just, I, it's a little loose, but it's kind of adjustable too, which is nice. Um, but it looks so cute on my index finger and I know, oh, maybe I'll wear it on this hand cause like I have silver on this hand. Um, that is, that's so cute. You guys look at that. It just says Taylor, Rachel. Um, I love it so much. It's very cute and I love 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 rings but with all that said we're gonna go and we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> get some coffee because I need it so I ended up getting a salted caramel iced latte and I guess that could be like fall vibes in some aspects um it just sounded really good to me also they're very busy so I didn't want to be like hey, can you add this and this and this to that I wasn't in that mood um but they're so sweet here like I know if I had they wouldn't have minded but a salted caramel ice latte just sounded really good in itself. Sounded simple, sounded really good. Kind of gave me, like I said, kind of gave me like fall vibes. Kind of gave me Red Taylor's version. Just like, I'm the person who will like associate like scents and taste and stuff like that with different seasons. And caramel is like one of those things for fall. So, although I eat caramel all year round, but 
salted caramel just gives it a little fall vibe to me but I'm excited to try it I really am and I really hope we're gonna go to Plato's closet next I really really hope that they take some of my stuff because if not um, it's gonna be donated you know what I have to do sometimes like I have to sit in the car and wait for Taylor's songs to like finish um, before I I can get out and as soon as the song ends I turn my car off because I know if like another song starts to play like I'm going to sit here longer if I can anyways we're in Plato's closet no I didn't wait to try this with you guys I'm so sorry um, it's very it's a very acquired taste it low-key tastes like a pretzel I can't say that it's my favorite flavor I've ever had from that coffee shop. It's not bad. It's just different. It tastes a little, I don't know. It's just, it tastes a little different than salted caramel, I guess would taste. It, it's giving pretzel, but it's not bad. I, I don't care, it's caffeine. But I'm gonna take my stuff to Plato's and that's stuff to donate, don't mind that. But we'll see everybody comment below how much you think i'm gonna make it play-dohs yeah guys i found taylor's one of taylor's shirts that she owns from brandy melville for i don't know how much it is it doesn't have a price tag but i'm trying it on i'm pretty sure she wore it when she was writing folklore and then i got a dress to try on for arizona she's cute let's try you guys I actually really just lucked out in there not really on the buying standpoint at all they took $17 worth of stuff they took like a lot of things but they were like smaller items so it didn't amount to too much however I am gonna just put it in my savings everything that you save for tour does end up adding up which is really cool I know $17 isn't a lot however like when you just put it away for tour and then like you keep doing that kind of stuff like it can add up they were still transitioning into like buying for spring so I think I'll try it and bring some of my other stuff back when it's closer to spring maybe like even right before I go to Glendale so but my finds my finds okay I found a lot of Taylor stickers like a lot and I didn't even buy every single one that was in there I could have but I decided to restrain myself I got a lot and they were 50 cents each I am so excited because I'm gonna put them on my water bottle at home and I did get a couple Harry stickers too so I'll show you the stickers I got I got this sticker I got this little treat people with kindness sticker my water bottles pink so it'll match I got this little red Taylor's version sticker capture it remember it the wind is like blowing my car um I got this sticker look how cute I got this sticker this is one of my favorite Taylor Swift lyrics I said <laughs> you're coming home with me it says if you and if you bleed you're never gonna grow and it's all right now like that lyric has stuck with me um through thick and thin I love that lyric this picture from the 1989 era oh my god never be so kind you forget to be clever never be so clever you forget to be kind i love that this i love this one this and then i got a love on tour sticker so there we go that's my sticker haul you guys <laughs> i found one of the shirts that taylor swift owns from brandy melville for seven dollars for seven dollars and you know Taylor Swift has you whipped when you can like pull something off the shelf and you're like oh my god she was wearing that when she wrote folklore and it was shown in the long pond studio sessions this shirt retails for I think 30 33 dollars somewhere in there and I bought it for seven it's absolutely adorable and I love twinning with Taylor you know um, but that's what I found today and all of that was 13 something dollars like 13 and some change we love being a Swifty but I think I'm gonna go to a tropical smoothie maybe I don't know I just like want something small for lunch I'm not too hungry but 
I'm getting there. I got my tropical smoothie. Little haul for you guys. I got my Caribbean jerk bowl. It's so yummy. It smells so good. I haven't had one in so long. I got a banana. And every time I eat a banana, I think of Taylor getting LASIK surgery. Just, you know, just Swifty things. Everything you do, you think of Taylor Swift. This one does have a head, though. Okay, then my life just got forever changed because I tried the peanut butter cup smoothie. Banana, peanut butter, and chocolate. I usually get the beach bum, but let me tell you, my life just got changed for the better. Um, that is probably the best thing that I've ever had in a smoothie. Was it my healthiest option? Not really. Do I care right now? Not really. I'm gonna go home and enjoy this, and honestly, I'm probably gonna take a nap. I am very tired. Bone appetit. Look how good that looks. She said, Mom, please let me sleep. Sitting here watching Rachel Ballinger. She's a queen. I love her so much. Also, also some nominations are actually being announced right now, so like, I'm pretty in tune with it on Twitter. Um, but I'm not watching the pre-Grammy show right now. Somebody posted, like, the, um, the order of their announced. So, when it gets closer to, like, Taylor's categories, I'll tune in. It's the country category, and Taylor is nominated for Best Country Song with I Bet You Think About Me with Chris Stapleton. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna manifest right now. It's the pre-show still, so... I want Kelsey to win. Oh. Hey, bestie girl. We are very close to two more of Taylor's categories, and this is going to depend if she wins 13 or if she is going to get 13 Grammys this year. And I'm nervous um, because only one is televised, which is Song of the Year. Um, so visual media, Carolina, and then best music video is also nominated, and I am nervous. All right, visual media. Angelique Kijo, Jeremy Lutito, and Jesse Wilson, Billie Eilish, and Phineas O'Connell. I don't see Taylor winning this one, but I'd be so happy if she did. And the Grammy goes to We Don't Talk About Bruno by Lynn Monroe. We don't talk about Bruno. I mean, that's a good song. Best music video. For I'm best still music holding video, this. The nominees are Xavier Dolan, Nancy Grant, and Jenny McInnes. Young Soap Choi and Tiffany Sa. Child, Missy Galanita, Sam Houston, Michelle Larkin, and Isaac Rice. As I shake. Dave Free, Kendrick Lamar, Jason Baum, and Jamie Rabineau. Tanu Muino, Frank Boren, Ivana Crap. Boren, Fred Bonham Carter, Alexa Haywood, and Brian Yance. Taylor Swift and Saul Germain. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. This is a make or break if she's getting 13 and the Grammys. Grammy goes to... All too well. <laughs> oh, my lungs work. Everybody sitting around me in Glendale should be so scared. This vision is all Taylor. Thank you so much, Taylor, for trusting yes, me to bring yes, this film yes, to life with yes, you. Yes. Uh, Taylor wrote this film. She directed it. It was an incredible honor to tell this story with you. Um, like to give a big thank you to our cast, Sadie Sink and Dylan O'Brien. Like to give a big thank you to our whole team, Robert, yes. Austin, Erica, Tree, our DP, Rena Yang, our production designer, Ethan Tobman. Thank you all so much. Very grateful and honored. Thank yes. you. Really, really want Jack Antonoff to win producer of the year. So I'm filming my reaction. We love Jack Antonoff. Come on, Jack. And the Grammy goes to Jack Antonoff. <laughs> Slave! 
Folklorians are just slaying the game tonight, except Taylors aren't folklore, but you know, the crew. Who's coming? Is that Margaret? I think it is. No. Is this Laura? I can't tell who that is. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, we sit in the studio all it day is. with one okay. person. This is Laura who engineers and mixes the records with us. It's Laura! And, uh, being in the premiere ceremony, you, you people know actually you know what I'm saying, what the studio is like, what happens, and so we just sit there all fucking day, and we were there yesterday, we'll be there tomorrow, and um... That's what I like to hear. So completely for Laura. Thank you guys. Aww, that's so cute. Laura. All right, that is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. That's a I wrap. was absolutely robbed, but we had a fabulous time. <laughs> Guys, she's there, and I have not seen, like, everybody's like, she looks so good, she looks so good, and I have not seen her, so. <gasps> she? The Grammys, the Grammys. I decided to watch it on my laptop on Paramount Plus because um, I want to keep working on my tuber outfit. So we're just going to sit up here and watch it, honestly. Okay, you guys, so I am out of the shower. I am freshly clean, no makeup, and I have my red era pajamas on. I have my supplies on the floor to continue my tour outfit. I am so excited. I won't be showing it until probably when we're there because it'll be like a group thing, but I am so excited. <laughs> the way it's turning out is awesome. Taylor tweeted, she said, I can't put into words what this means to me for the Recording Academy and my peers to acknowledge me as a director and in doing so, acknowledge my work and try to reclaim my music. I am blown away. <laughs> Thank you to all the fans who willed this to happen. I just have a feeling that I'm gonna need these bad boys tonight. Yeah. Okay, best pop vocal album. Taylor is not nominated for, but Harry is, and I wanna see Harry win. I think it, I think it's either gonna be Harry or Adele. Um, that's my fair guess. Ooh, it could be Lizzo too. My final guess is Adele. That's my final guess. Okay. It's gonna be a doll. And the Grammy goes to Harry. Please be Harry. Harry's house. <gasps> oh! He was like, oh, he deserves that. Oh, yes, Taylor Clappin. Taylor Clappin, she said. As she should. Oh, I love him. Um, thank you so much. So good in that blazer. Thank you. This album from start to finish has been the greatest experience of my life. Um, from making it with two of my best friends to playing it for people has been the greatest joy I could have asked for. So um, I want to thank Rob, Jeffrey, Tommy, Tom, Tom, Tyler, and uh, everyone who inspired this album, everyone, all my friends who supported me through it. Thank you so much. Uh, I wouldn't be without you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love him. He's so pure. I really love him. I really do. You know it's not the same as it was. Guys, so I'm sitting in the floor because I'm working on my tour outfit. Um, but 
There was a video of Taylor dancing to Harry during his set and nobody else around her was standing up, but she was like dancing her heart out and just like the way Taylor is so unconditionally supportive of people is just like it warms my heart. Like I love her so much. I I really really do. Like <laughs> Okay, it's song of the year. This determines if Taylor is going to get her 13th Grammy Award. Please, 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 please. Please. I'm so nervous. Please, I, I'm really nervous for this. Like, there's so many nominees. Come on. I'm so scared. I am so scared right now. I am so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. Just like that. Oh, Taylor's poor face. Hello, you guys. So it is the evening after the Grammys. The Grammys were last night. I'm sitting here. I got another peanut butter smoothie on the way home. It's a peanut butter cup smoothie from Tropical Smoothie, and I swear, it is so good. Um, also, do you guys like my invention? This is my ring light, but it's multi-purpose. Um, the clothes I don't want to like put in the dryer because I'm afraid of them like shrinking or whatever. I hang them up on there to dry before I put them in my closet because I don't want to put them in my closet soaking wet. So that's my invention I'm just I bet you guys are just so glad I told you that but somebody probably was looking at that like what is that that's what that is anyways you guys I wanted to sit down and wrap up this video with talking about the Grammys now I could have done this last night however I didn't know if we were gonna get more pictures of Taylor you know like an after-party look there was like a quick video of her walking to her car um, she had like a long like I think it was like greenish blue dress on it was long and she I think she had like a jacket on over it but there were no high quality photos as of right now when I'm filming this um that have been posted of her party um apparently she had like a private party with Camila Cabello and Lana Del Rey was there and I'm sure a lot of other people I'm sure Jack was there and all those people but there are a couple things about the Grammys that I want to touch on, and so, of course, when I say this, <laughs> I mean no disrespect to who won the Grammy. Bonnie, I don't know anything about Bonnie, however, I have seen posts of people saying, like, Bonnie is actually a very good person. She does like a lot of nonprofit work and all that. I was just completely shocked by the choice for song of the year at the Grammys. Now, as fans, we are allowed to be upset without bashing other artists. And that is my main takeaway from the Grammys. And that is my main point of this wrap up. And there's really two situations here where I can talk about that so um the first one is the Taylor situation like I really thought that she was gonna win song of the year for all too well she's been nominated for songs like cardigan shake it off blank space in the past even you belong with me and she's never won song of the year song of the year is supposed to highlight the songwriters abilities and talents and that is what that award is supposed to go to now I really 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 it broke my heart because number one this could have been Taylor's 13th Grammy if you don't know that is Taylor's lucky number and number two Scott Borchetta was there. Now, if you don't know, Scott Borchetta was the president of Big Machine Records. He can really thank Taylor for his whole entire start. And then under the rug, he sold Taylor's masters when she went to Republic. He sold her records without even asking her to Scooter Braun. 
when Taylor wanted to purchase them. Um, that's a whole other story. But the fact that Taylor is going back and re-recording all her work, and she re-recorded All Too Well, and she went even as far as to record the All Too Well 10 minute version for her fans is incredible. Taylor is reclaiming what's hers, and I would have absolutely loved nothing more than to see her get up on that stage in front of those people and reclaim that as hers. She did win for Best Music Video, so Red still has a Grammy, so we can, we can put a smile on our face for that because that is what is deserved. Um, but as a fan, I was, I was really upset because Song of the Year is for the songwriters, and it, like I said, it highlights that. Now, like I said, I don't know anything about Bonnie, and the other candidates for this award are amazing. Like, I love Harry, and, you know, it's no, when I say I'm disappointed, it's no malice towards the other people or the person who won, because, you know, I was just shocked and you know taylor will get her 13th grammy i hope it's next year with midnights because next year midnights will be eligible for you know album of the year she can resubmit for song of the year with maybe like anti-hero something like that but all too well really just highlights taylor's ability to song write like no other like no other it really really did and as a fan, I was a little disappointed, but you know what? Um, I know that Taylor is always going to be the most supportive and I know Taylor is never going to be the one to be like, yeah, fans get them. Like she was up all night when everybody else was sitting down for any artist. Now that, that really goes into my next point. Harry Styles, I'll say this with the biggest smile on my face because I love Harry. Harry Styles won for Album of the Year. And I was stoked to hear that. He was like this. He couldn't believe it. You know, the people he came with, like, jumped up even before he did. Like, he was, like, so in shell shock. And actually, one of his older fans got to present him with the award. And it was just like this celebratory moment. Everybody was screaming, you know, it was good. Harry ran up on stage and hugged his um, older fan. And it was just such a wholesome moment. And then you hear Beyonce should have won that. And as I love Beyonce, I have absolutely nothing against Beyonce. Beyonce actually, when that happened, when Kanye West jumped on stage when Taylor won the VMA back in 2009, Beyonce brought Taylor out when she won an award and said, I want Taylor to have her moment. Beyonce is nothing but gracious. It's nothing against Beyonce. It's everything against you're allowed to be upset that your favorite person didn't win, but do you know how much that that could mean to another person? And so then there was a video taken of the crowd and everybody else in the audience is sitting down, exception of the cameraman, of course. Taylor Swift is standing up. Taylor Swift is standing up, clapping, listening to Harry, and I just... I think it was partly because she realized like, oh crap, that was me. And I thought everybody was booing me, but at least there's one person standing in this audience right now. And that was her. Now, <laughs> they have the history, but I love them both dearly. Like, and I love that they talk and I love that she went up to him and, you know, hugged him and probably said congratulations. It looks like maybe they were talking about his performance or whatever. She was up dancing to his performance. It did not matter who was on stage. Taylor was up and Taylor stood up for everyone. Um, and I think that that's really important. And I think she set such a beautiful, beautiful example um, for the industry and for people in general. Like, hey, even if even if you're losing one day, maybe you didn't win that day, still stand up for other people. Like, don't make your losses their loss as well by making them feel less of, you know? 
I just, I hated to see that because I was so excited for Harry and to hear somebody say that and if you could hear it on on audio, you know, you know that you could hear it in there. And people who were like sitting down below said that they heard it and it just, it snaps my heart for him because he's worked so hard and I'm so incredibly proud of him. Harry's House is such a good album. Lizzo one, which I love to see. Lizzo's amazing. <laughs> I really wish I could see her. She's actually, her her date closest to me is like midweek and that's just not a good time for me, which is upsetting. But if it was a Saturday, I'd so go because I love Lizzo. Okay, like her energy is just everything to me. Um, But yeah, that's what, that's really what I wanted to say about the Grammys. There's a lot of talk going around and I just, I hope maybe Harry didn't hear it. I really hope that somehow, some way, he didn't, but yeah, that's really all I had to say. I really, really enjoyed watching it the entire time I was working on my outfit for Glendale and FaceTiming Emma. That was literally the whole time. Like, I had it on my laptop because um, I, I just decided, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to put it on, like, on my laptop, keep it in the floor, my ear itches. <laughs> um, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to work on my stuff and like listen to it, watch it. And I had a great time. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys so much for, you know, valuing my opinion on what I have to say. But yeah, as Harry says, treat people with kindness and, you know, be a Taylor Swift and stand up for people even if you feel like you're down. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and Eras Tour content is coming. Um, maybe a couple Valentine's videos. It's been crazy busy recently, but we're going to pick it back up. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertains you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.